Welcome to this complete Valencia, Spain travel guide. Valencia, a city that marries the old with the new, brimming with history and drenched in sunshine. It's a place where Gothic grandeur coexists with futuristic architecture and where every corner tells a tale. Today we'll take a vibrant journey to explore the top 10 must-see places in this captivating city, from glistening beaches to awe-inspiring cathedrals. So buckle up and without further ado, Let's embark on our journey through the vibrant city of Valencia. Starting our countdown at number 10, we have the beautiful Malvarosa Beach. Nestled on the eastern coast of Valencia, this beach is a gem of the Mediterranean. It's a picturesque stretch of golden sand that extends as far as the eye can see, kissed by azure blue waves in a serene rhythm. Malvarosa isn't just for lounging around, although that is a rather tempting option. It's a hub of activity, offering a smorgasbord of fun-filled pursuits. Volleyball nets dot the beach, and the sea beckons surfers and swimmers alike. And when you've worked up an appetite, the beachfront is lined with chiringuitos, little Spanish bars serving up fresh seafood and chilled sangria. The atmosphere is vibrant, buzzing with life as locals and tourists alike bask in the Spanish sun. As the day progresses, the beach transforms under the setting sun, painting the sky with hues of orange and purple. A perfect place to soak up the Spanish sun, Malvarosa Beach is a must-visit for beach enthusiasts. At number 9, we have the historic Plaza de la Virgen. Steeped in centuries of history, this plaza is the beating heart of Valencia. It's where the old and new converge, where tradition meets modernity. Picture this, a stunning square framed by the city's most iconic buildings. To one side, the majestic Valencia Cathedral, a marvel of architectural diversity. To another, the Basilica de la Virgen de los Desamparados, a tribute to the city's patron saint. And don't forget the Turia Fountain, a tribute to Valencia's Roman past, sitting proudly at the center. But it's not all about the past. The plaza is a vibrant hub of activity, a place where locals and tourists alike gather to enjoy a leisurely coffee or a traditional Spanish meal at one of the many surrounding cafes. So whether you're an architecture buff, a history enthusiast, or just a lover of vibrant city life, the Plaza de la Virgen has something for everyone. For a taste of history and culture, Plaza de la Virgen is a must visit. Coming in at number eight, we have the Biopark Valencia. This isn't your ordinary zoo, folks. Here, traditional cages are swapped out for invisible barriers, providing an immersive experience that truly brings you closer to the wild. The Biopark is home to an impressive array of animals from the African continent, ranging from the majestic lions and lumbering elephants to the agile lemurs and colorful flamingos. But it's not all just about the spectacle. Biopark Valencia is committed to conserving the natural habitats of these magnificent creatures. It actively participates in numerous international conservation projects and promotes environmental education among its visitors. So whether you're a fan of the feathered, the furry or the scaled, Biopark Valencia has something for everyone. It's a place where you can marvel at the wonders of nature, learn about different species and contribute to preserving the world's biodiversity. An adventure for all ages, Biopark Valencia promises a wild ride. Number seven on our list is the impressive Torres de Serranos. These twin towers standing tall and proud are an emblem of Valencia's rich and vibrant history. Constructed in the 14th century as part of the city's fortifications, they once served as the grand gateway to the city. Now they offer us a gateway to the past, whispering tales of knights and noblemen who once walked their hallowed halls. The Torres de Serranos aren't just a history lesson though, Climb to their apex and you'll be rewarded with a stunning panorama of Valencia's unique skyline. From this vantage point, the city unfolds like a living tapestry woven with threads of modernity and tradition. These towers are more than just stone and mortar. They're a testament to Valencia's resilience, a symbol of its enduring spirit. They've stood watch over the city for centuries and they'll continue to do so for many more. A towering testament to Valencia's past, Torres de Serranos is a sight to behold. Making a splash at number six, we have the Oceanographic. This aquatic marvel is the largest aquarium in Europe, sprawling over an impressive surface area of 111,000 square meters. That's a lot of room for fish. The Oceanographic is a treasure trove of marine biodiversity, showcasing over 500 species from every corner of the globe. 
From the vibrant coral reefs of the tropics to the icy waters of the Arctic, it's like embarking on a round-the-world cruise without ever leaving Valencia. But it's not just about the fish. The Oceanographic's architecture is a sight to behold. Designed by the famed architect Felix Candela, the structures mimic the shapes of water in motion, creating a seamless blend of nature and design. And here's a fun fact. The Oceanographic is so large, it has its own underwater restaurant. Now that's what I call dining with a view. For a deep dive into marine life, the Oceanographic is your destination. Weaving its way to number five, we have La Loña de la Seda. This emblematic structure of Valencia is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, a testament to the city's historical significance in the silk exchange. Its construction dates back to the late 15th century, a time when Valencia was thriving as a hub of commerce. The building's name, La Loña de la Seda, translates to silk exchange, reflecting the city's prominence in the silk trade during the Middle Ages. Its stunning Gothic architecture is not just a feast for the eyes, but it also symbolizes the wealth and power Valencia held during its golden age. The intricate stone carvings, towering columns and grand arches tell tales of a prosperous era. La Loña de la Seda is more than just a building. It's a peek into Valencia's rich history, a testament to the city's past glory and its economic prowess. A masterpiece of Gothic architecture, La Loña de la Seda is a must-visit. Blossoming at number four, we have the Turia Gardens. This verdant paradise stretches for an impressive nine kilometers, making it one of the largest urban parks in Spain. But don't let its size intimidate you. Within this expansive green space, a myriad of activities awaits you. From leisurely strolls to energetic bike rides, the park's well-maintained paths invite you to explore at your own pace. For the sports enthusiasts, there are football fields, basketball courts, and even a skate park. If you're more artistically inclined, you might enjoy the open-air theater and the numerous sculptures scattered throughout the park. Not to be overlooked are the stunning landscapes that Turia Gardens offers. Imagine a symphony of colors from various flowers in bloom, the gentle rustle of leaves from the diverse plant life and the soothing sound of water from its numerous fountains and ponds. A green oasis in the heart of the city, Turia Gardens is a breath of fresh air. Serving up number three, we have the bustling central market. Now, if you're the kind of person who loves a spectacle of colors, sounds and scents, then you're in for a treat. Central Market is an explosion of life and activity, a symphony of haggling vendors, enthusiastic shoppers and the vibrant array of produce that is as fresh as the Valencian morning breeze. Rows and rows of stalls boast a cornucopia of local produce, from juicy oranges to the freshest seafood caught just hours ago. And let's not forget the chorizo, the manchego cheese or the heavenly aroma of freshly baked bread that fills the air. But it's not just the food that's a feast for the senses. The market itself is housed in a stunning modernist building, a masterpiece of glass, iron and ceramics that is as much a treat for the eyes as the food is for the palate. A feast for the senses. Central Market is a foodie's paradise. Shining at number two, we have the Valencia Cathedral. A marvel of time and testament to artistic brilliance, the cathedral stands proudly in the heart of Valencia. Its history stretches back to the 13th century, with roots deeply entwined in the city's rich past. The cathedral is an architectural kaleidoscope. It showcases a unique mix of styles from the Romanesque to the Gothic and the Baroque to the Neoclassical. This blend of eras tells a tale of the city's evolution, each stone whispering stories of time gone by. One cannot talk about the cathedral without mentioning the Miguelete Tower. This Gothic bell tower, named after St. Michael, offers panoramic views of the city, a reward well worth the 207-step climb. From the top, one can marvel at Valencia's skyline, a beautiful blend of history and modernity. A beacon of Valencia's religious history, the cathedral is a must-see. It's not just a building, it's a journey through time, offering a glimpse into Valencia's soul. And, and finally, at number one, we have the City of Arts and Sciences, a remarkable architectural masterpiece. It is a beacon of modernism, creativity and innovation. Designed by the renowned Spanish architect Santiago Calatrava, the complex boasts an impressive array of structures that seem to have been plucked straight out of a science fiction novel. The City of Arts and Sciences is a hub of diverse cultural institutions, from the breathtaking hemispheric 
an IMAX cinema and planetarium, to the Prince Philip Science Museum that sparks curiosity in minds young and old, there's no shortage of fascinating exploration to be had. Let's not forget the Palau de les Arts Reina Sofia, a temple of music and performing arts that houses four grand auditoriums beneath its wave-like roof. The complex isn't just a collection of buildings, it's a testament to Valencia's commitment to education, culture and the arts. It's a place where science meets art and where learning is made fun and accessible. The city's identity is deeply intertwined with this futuristic vision, showcasing Valencia as a city that's not just steeped in history but also fervently embracing the future. A symbol of Valencia's vibrant culture and future, the City of Arts and Sciences is our top pick. It's more than just a destination, it's an experience, a journey into the heart of Valencia's spirit of innovation and creativity. So when you visit Valencia, make sure the City of Arts and Sciences is on your itinerary. After all, it's not just a city within a city, it's a world within the world. And that concludes our countdown of the top 10 places to visit in Valencia. From the tranquil waves of Malvarosa Beach to the architectural marvels at the City of Arts and Sciences, Valencia does not disappoint. And let's not forget the other gems we didn't have time to mention. The buzzing nightlife, the vibrant festivals, and the mouth-watering cuisine. Valencia is a symphony of experiences, waiting for you to join in. Until next time, adios from Valencia, the city that truly has it all.